That's right, your boy is back on his own account, and I'm back with another Rec Room News video. I have a bunch of interesting stuff to talk about, but of course, before we do get started, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys decided to use my code inside of Rec Room. It supports me a lot, and of course, thank you to all my Rec Room supporters. So we just got a Rec Room update yesterday, and of course, this is what it said. Titled the Bull Spits Lazy Facts Edition, we got our TLDR, which says, Bull chips are now lazy, but also faster and more efficient. Your saved outfits with custom shirts can be worn again, and you can show them that fit. And lastly, the Pathfinder will make better choices on where it's going or not going. For full body avatars, Recom had addressed the pesky issue where custom shirts and saved outfits were playing hide and seek, and they're back front and center where they belong. They fixed an issue where VR players and full body avatar could experience minor hand jitters under certain circumstances. For general improvements and bug fixes, bull chips got smarter and lazier. Now they'll stop working as soon as they know the answer, saving heat and preventing circuit errors. Bull chips will now short circuit when possible, such that they do not even Evaluate the remaining inputs when the output can already be determined. This includes AND, OR, NOR, and NAND. Put an end to the twisty turny drama with tube and ribbon curves snapping. You can no longer snap grid rotation when creating a curve with a tube or ribbon. When grid snapping was on, the curve control points could end with rotations that did not match users' expectations. They added a new circuit board maker pen scale control panel offset tool setting. The setting defaults to true slash on and they maintain their current behavior. When it's false or off, the control panel will maintain a constant distance when the object is uniformly scaled. They squashed the bug where tapping a deep link might take you to an unexpected detour to your dorm instead of where you want it to go. Now you'll land where you intended, and no surprise pit stop. They eliminated a persistent autocomplete dropdown bug where autocomplete options appear persistent on the screen even when players aren't actively interacting with the input text field. We uncrossed our wires to fix a bug when using wire on an input circuit pin, the config menu wouldn't always pop up on your maker pin UI. Now for rooms 2.0, Rec Room Top Pathfinder to listen better to the Rec Room Object reset chip, it's finally maturing. And lastly, the Pathfinder also learned to think before acting. If it gets two requests during the same frame, it'll now go with the most recent one, like the true multitasker it is. And lastly, with this update for Rec Room Studio, they had optimized the slow studio function animator methods, calls to animator.set floating string name, animator set bool string name, and animator set integer string name to substantially reduce performance impact when these are called frequently. Then lastly, for this entire update, they squashed an exception that would occur during a domain reload when the asset palette tab is open. That was pretty much this entire update. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Also, in case you guys haven't gotten a good look at our rec center shop, we had gotten these item skins that you guys can see. And over here on our board, we have some new stuff. I'm pretty sure we just got new featured rooms. We've had Volder for a little bit, and we have all this stuff on Instagram and YouTube and, and etc. Pretty cool. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about this board. In case you guys aren't too aware, Rec Room did announce its new creator forum. From an announcement coming from PD Parker, Recommend said, Hi friends, we reached out to a couple Rooms 2.0 creators via email to try our new creator forum tool and the creator hub. This is big because you'll be able to discuss and get feedback on topics, features, and announcements all while connecting with Recom staff. But right now, we are focusing on using it as a way to collect Rooms 2.0 bug reports, and previously we used Zendesk as our bug reporting tool, but there wasn't enough feedback to the users on what the status on their bugs were. With the Rooms 2.0 bug reports, we will be taking the top 10 upvoted posts and providing updates on the status of them either through tags or comments. We want to support the most commonly highlighted issues by utilizing the upvote system. Both the community and our team is able to keep track of what's being prioritized. We reached out to our most engaging Rooms 2.0 creators, but if you'd like to also access this tool to post your bug reports, you can sign up for access here, which is inside the Creative Hub Discord. I will have a link to the Discord server, of course, inside the description below. After testing out the forum with the first group, we will expand it to more users who have signed up with that link, and in the future, they will open it up to more creators without requiring a form and expand on what can be discussed. There. So of course, if you're a creator inside a rec room that likes to use the maker pen and runs into a ton of bugs, then of course, I think you guys will find this rec room forum stuff pretty helpful. And of course, before you think that we have more rec room news to talk about, no, no, no. I'm here for my, my channel memberships. Of course, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I have channel memberships on YouTube where people basically give me money every single month and I give them perks like being shouted out in my videos or early sneak peeks to my videos. If you want to join, you guys can check it out by the subscription button. And of course, massive shout out to all these people who do include The Dragon Boy, Bear to Bear, Nat the Pup, Mr. Ink, Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Funny RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BB Burning Owl, Yo Chicky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. 
Thanks for all the love and support folks, and of course, let's continue on with this video. In case you guys haven't seen, we also received some new Destiny 2 items. They actually, you know, are kind of plastering that everywhere for our weekly rotation this week. And we had also gotten some developer talk about Avatar Studio from Jode Animation. When asked where he had been, Jode Animation had confirmed that they had gotten pretty busy getting Avatar Studio still up and making upgrades to the Bean Avatar. While we're still a month away from the as close beta kickoff, we have some exciting news coming out this week. Expect news about Avatar developments as well as pricing, and he can't see more than that now though. And that pretty much kicks us into our next segment of the video UGC clothing I know y'all have seen this new items that I've had on and stuff like that and if you guys have been living under a rock very recently well you may not know what these are now there's basically two announcements for the same link which was avatar studio and stuff like that and I'll read the two announcements inside the creator hub discord server we got an announcement from rec room saying remember that sneak peek we gave you from last year's retcon well it's official avatar studio has arrived and it's a total game changer with this rollout you'll be able to design create and even sell your own avatar items in rec room and this is a huge leap forward in customization and soon everyone can get in on the fun. And because there will be many more options to express yourself through Avatar Studio, we want to make Avatar customization more affordable for everyone. Today we are lowering the minimum price of all custom Avatar items including custom shirts 250 tokens. And most custom Avatar items will have a minimum price of 375 tokens. If you want to know more, they got more details on what Avatar Studio is, how they're rolling it out, and how you can get involved inside that link. Then they had another announcement on the Rec Room official Discord saying, introducing Avatar Studio X Sawhorse. Guess what? Avatar Studio is here, and with this rollout, you'll have even more Avatar items to express yourself, all created by your fellow community members. And because we want to make the Avatar customization more affordable for everyone, they're adjusting the minimum price of tokens of custom shirts from 1,000 tokens to 250 tokens, and we talked about this already. They kicked off a few things by having the creators from Sawhorse Interactive test it out, with their amazing new items available now inside the Watch Stores featured page, so you guys can go check them out. Now, yes, these are the UGC clothing items that I have on right now and hopefully you guys can see the images on the screen of all the sawhorse clothing that you guys are going to be able to pick and choose from now in the game it's pretty cool and be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on these policy changes with custom ugc clothing now when we go to this link we are introduced to this avatar studio link which says create and share custom avatar items we're working on a set of tools for anyone to make custom avatar items through rec room studio and check out the first set we made by our avatar studio creator sawhorse they have this little avatar studio logo and stuff like that pretty cool but then they go on to say this we previewed it at retcon last year and now are excited to officially announce the launch of avatar studio a game-changing tool that will let creators to create design and sell your very own avatar items in rec room this is a big step forward in customization and they started early testing with a well-known creative studio sawhorse interactive to tweak our creation tools before rolling them out to you thanks to their help you'll be able to create share and reap the rewards of making avatar items that have never been possible in rec room here's an update on how the avatar studio works. We'll be rolling it out to more creators and some cool new items that you guys can find in-game right now from their early testers. Now there's more information and they had a little TLDR to kind of explain everything here. If you are wondering what Avatar Studio is, Avatar Studio basically lets creators design and customize Avatar items using an advanced 3D software with tools identical to those used by Rec Room devs. If you guys are asking about early testing with Sawhorse, Sawhorse Interactive tested the Avatar Studio, helping them refine the tools and some other new Avatar Studio created items are now available inside the watch store. If you guys are still, you know, wondering about the pricing changes with Avatar Studio, Rec Room's goal is to make Avatar customization more affordable and accessible to everyone. Avatar Studio minimum prices will be set per item type with a minimum price of 375 tokens, and they're also reducing the minimum price of custom shirts to 250. If you're wondering when you can start creating, Rec Room has opened access to a handful of early testers to Day. And they'll keep adding to early access with priority given to 3D creators with prior experience. A broader rollout will follow with this closed beta later this year, but if you want to be considered for access, you can submit your portfolio through that link. Now, of course, there's a bunch of information and stuff like that, talking about Avatar Studio, early testing with Sawhorse, you know, the whole pricing changes with Avatar Studio, and when you can actually start creating. Of course, if you guys want to read more information and stuff like that, I will have the links down inside the description below. You should basically already know that my descriptions are brilliant. Pretty important. That's pretty much been our entire news video for today's video. So of course, people, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys would actually love to support, you guys can go check out more record news here. If you guys don't remember from last video, my account wasn't working because I had too many friends on my main account, but I can finally play on the record official launcher with my main. So I still can't play VR though, but but that's the besides the point. Of course, be sure to like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, even share this video with a friend if you want to, and bye!